adjectives, 200. Matthew 6, 9 says, Our Father which art in heaven, this be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Well, if you want a sign of how bad our culture has fallen, right here is your example. These are supposedly some of the smartest people in our country, or at least some pretty knowledgeable people that make it on Jeopardy. And none of them even had a guess for how this scripture finished? Wow, we have fallen far in our culture when it comes to even basic biblical understanding. Recently, Ben Shapiro made reference to this issue as well, and I think he nails it. The generalized American ignorance when it comes to matters biblical and Judeo-Christian is now extraordinary. There is a, a bizarre situation over on Jeopardy where a question was issued that even I, a Jew, knew the answer to. Okay, so the Jeopardy contestants were asked to fill in this blank. Quote, our father who art in heaven, blank be thy name. There were three contestants, not even one guest. Not even one guest. Now, I'm a Jew, okay? We don't do the Lord's Prayer. That's not, that's not a thing for us, okay? But I also have watched movies and TV shows and I live in America, so I know that the answer is hallowed, right? But, but nobody on Jeopardy knew this. Yeah, he's right. I mean, when an Orthodox Jew knows better than supposedly very knowledgeable people on Jeopardy how to finish this scripture from Matthew, our culture's in trouble. But, but you know what this says? It really says that the level of biblical Judeo-Christian knowledge in this country has absolutely plummeted through the floor. And it, you want to know why America is collapsing socially? That would be the reason. The reason is there used to be just a natural backdrop in the United States of particularly Christian values that everybody sort of understood. In fact, there, there's an old story about a couple of rabbis, very prominent rabbis in the Jewish community, and they ended up in the back of a taxi together. And they were in the back of the taxi and they're talking about their educational background. One says, you know, I went to public school. And the other one goes, well, really? I went to public school too. And they said, and the first one says, well, prove it. Show me you went to public school. What, sing me Silent Night. And so there they are in the, back of the, in the back of the taxi, these two rabbis singing Silent Night to each other because they went to public school. Now, the part of that story that used to be funny was rabbi singing Silent Night. Now the part of that story is, that's funny is the idea that you would learn Silent Night in a public school. Hallowed be thy name. 